Tribe, where are we going? We are almost about three quarters of the way to Carabelle. A little beach trip this weekend, a little beach camping trip. We was lucky enough to uh, get the last spot on this campground. So uh, this is not too far of a ride for us, only a couple hours from the house. So I was able to get out of town a little early on a Friday and uh, about to see some salt water. Probably gonna be a little cool to get in the water. Uh, but we can play on the beach and uh, enjoy some cooler weather even down here in Florida. Yeah. You think you'll be playing on the beach in I think we we'll might have a little beach session tomorrow. Not, it's not going to be like an all day beach thing like it would be if we came in the summertime. But I, I think we'll have a little bit of a beach session. It'll be some good bike riding hopefully going on. And uh, we even brought a little TV this time. This campground has a coax cable hook up there and uh usually tv is not our thing as far as camping but we did bring it so we could uh watch the dogs play tomorrow night that is where are we going go a beach to the beach yeah are you gonna get in the water yeah are we gonna look for seashells yeah are we gonna look for shark teeth Done shut down the office for the day, but I got our papers. <laughs> Yay! We are at. Got this. Put that up there. What is the O parking? Okay. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, that's a cute map. I like a map. Maps are always nice. Oh I wonder if they got a spot circle. Ta ta. Forty eight. All right. Do you know where that is? We got a map here. It's right here. Uh, to do, to do, to do. I think it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Yeah. Let's go see if we can find it. Near the bathrooms. That's right. So this is where we are, Carabell Beach RV Resort. And then got a nice little booklet here. Some restaurant recommendations and stuff. Here's the campground map. You can see there's where we are, right there at 48. Which is kind of right by the pool, right by the bathhouse, which is always important when you're pop-up camping. But a pretty little decent sized campground. Uh, they've even got all those cabins and stuff, bungalows over here for the people or friends that necessarily don't want to be in a camper but want to hang out so pretty good sized little spot there and right across the street from the beach and for those of you that are not familiar with the area so we're right here Carabell there's St. George Island right there if you keep going this way you'll run into Mexico Beach and Panama City which is probably a familiar name to most folks 
and so this is what they call the panhandle of Florida if you keep going that way so the majority of the campers in here are these huge fifth wheel or gooseneck campers a lot of big RVs in here if you look at the registration hanging from the uh, mirror on most of these vehicles you can tell everybody's been here for a while or going to be here for a while so definitely more of a big camper kind of long-term campground here there are a few neat little small campers like this r pod right here or this neat little custom setup here with a cool little color scheme on it but we are the only pop-up here probably the oldest camper here but that doesn't bother us at all we're still going to have a good time everybody else Seems to spend a lot of their time inside the camper. We just like to throw all our stuff out here, have a good little outdoor setup, and have us a big time. Well, we got a, a table full here. We got some <laughs> camping buddies with us this weekend here in Carabelle. Uh, feels real good down here. Had a little cool spell come through the south, and uh, even down here on the Gulf Coast, it is a little bit chilly, so we had to put our jackets yes. on. Uh, huddle up. Huddle up. Mm -hmm. Violate uh, social distancing. I love <laughs> any <laughs> opportunity to put some jogging <laughs> pants on uh, <laughs> and was able to do that tonight. And so I've got my friends Jenna and Hayden here, some of our good friends from back in South Georgia, and they're joining us on this camping trip. If you watched our last video when we were in Bald Mountain in Hiawassee, we talked about how that campground was nice because it also had cabins. So if you have friends that don't have a camper, they can still join you on your camping trips yeah. and they can come over and kind of experience a little bit of the camping deal, but uh, still go back to a, a, a nice bed and, yeah. and stuff. And so didn't have to put up this pop-up with that's two what, children. That's what they did this weekend. And so yep. this, nice this bathroom. <laughs> This, Inside. this particular <laughs> campground in Carabelle here has these little cabins and so folks can come and stay and they don't have to camp and they can come over here and enjoy you know some nice little uh, lantern life. Mm -hmm. yep. I did add these this weekend. This was something that uh, I got really jealous of when we were in Hiawassee. Travis, they are citronella candles. I know, it's, it's nothing candles. big. It's nothing big. They, they were not handmade in Africa. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't <laughs> handmade anywhere. Candles. But, but I noticed it was just one of those things. I felt like we were missing as we part missing. of our we had camping it. attire. Yeah. yeah. And you okay. have to admit, they, these are skeeter, skeeter candles. Uh -huh. They keep yeah. the skeeters away. We've have y'all got bitten by any skeeters yet? <laughs> not a one. Nope. Not, not a one. one. Okay. Not a one. Thank goodness for these candles, because we would literally be carried <laughs> off right now. So earlier in this video, we kind of showed you a time lapse of putting up the pop-up. We had a lot of people ask about putting it up, and I'm not kidding you. It, 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 every time we do it, it goes a little faster. I feel like we put it up in record time today, with the exception of Titus falling on the playground. I was gonna say I felt like we had a lot of interruptions. I normally help a lot more, and this time it was a little. Um, this campground is great, but you're real close to other campers, and I couldn't. I didn't have a view to the playground which is nearby so we had to keep stopping and checking on children and cleaning up boo-boos and sky faces well we Poor got it up pretty quick and yeah. i had less stuff <clears throat> in the back of the truck this time which made setup and everything easier i didn't have to bring a fan because it's right. nice and cool mm -hmm. there's a lot of things we didn't have to bring this time right uh what's funny about this whole situation is uh jenna here when she was younger, evidently her family uh, had, a, when I was younger, I had a pop-up, or my family did, and we go pop-up camping all the time. And that's why this is just so great to me, nostalgic. But evidently, Jenna used to do the same thing, right? We did. We did. But your <coughs> pop-up didn't have AC. No, it didn't have AC. It didn't have a lot of this stuff. In fact, my mom texted me, like, earlier. She was like, I need you to send me some pictures of what's going on over there. <laughs> She is, this have, sounds a lot different they didn't have flat than screen television to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be blown away by the outlets yeah. on the outside. Yeah, the outlets on the outside, the that nice little sink table that y'all have over there, This whole, the whole AC, everything. It's nice. Trav, tomorrow we're going to shoot a time lapse video of you putting together my kid's bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. the next that's, thing. For that's some, reason, some reason, Hayden managed to buy a bicycle that wasn't already assembled, and so... We gotta do, I, I didn't know there was such a thing. But anyway, <laughs> we gotta uh, we gotta do that tomorrow. We're probably gonna uh, make a little trip down to the beach. Water might be cold. There is a pool here. It's 
I don't. It's I think it's warm. I think it's warm because I yeah, heard some yeah. other kids going swimming. Up. We might let the kids get in the pool a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, mm -hmm. SEC football has started back last weekend, and uh, we so, we normally don't bring a TV. We brought a TV this weekend because there's a little coax cable hookup mm -hmm. here. Uh -huh. So I brought a, another I, thing we didn't have. Yeah. <laughs> My parents are going to be so impressed. <laughs> Cable. So yeah. we stole the TV from Abram's bedroom and uh, so we can watch the dogs tomorrow <laughs> night. But it should be a good, fun, full day. I think the temperature's only supposed to get up to about 76. Yeah, it's going to be so nice. And 76, even though we're only two hours away, 76 in South Georgia is a lot different than 76 down here because mm -hmm. you got a nice little cool breeze mm -hmm. coming off the Gulf Coast. It's pretty busy down here this time of year. Yeah. Uh, I think you know, we just season. went to the restaurant to pick up our food and the, the waiter was telling us that that was for this time of year it's the busiest they've been and they really? they sort of attribute that back to what's still going on with the coronavirus mm -hmm. and the kids being out of school and people being free to travel yeah, around a lot that. yeah he said a lot of people that. are homeschooling their kids and are just traveling freely snapper season coming yeah. back in is another thing yeah. which is uh oh, yeah. i mean you know corona has infected a lot not infected affected a lot of people negatively but the one thing positive about the whole deal if we can draw any positive conclusions from it, it has boosted a lot of these small economies like this yeah which, which is it's just kind of good kind of you know th this time of year these people are usually trying to you know lean down this is kind of when they button up not their busy season but good to see some of these restaurants and stuff down here they busy still thriving yeah. he yeah. did say they were you know they were struggling a little bit tonight because they wouldn't they weren't staffed to deal with that kind of uh I wasn't nice. expecting it. Yeah. Wasn't expecting it, but it, it was, it's a happy you know, problem. always, yeah, right? always it's good, good to see these local restaurants down here. Now, this, I'll, I'll kind of, on the, the next video, give you a kind of little bit of a panoramic tour of this campground. But we, it's def so nice. we definitely You're have the, uh, we definitely have the most lowest budget camper here. <laughs> Y'all, I mean, it's like, I feel like we got this. You know, I don't know, smallest house, uh, think a million yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like somebody's are, gonna come try to like knock down your uh, camper I, yeah. and yeah. I feel like and the put average, up a Mac, a Mac mansion. Yeah. Here. I feel like the average <laughs> camper cost here is anywhere from sixty to seventy thousand dollars. Easily. E no, if yeah. not up, up yeah. above that. I feel like somebody's gonna try to like buy us out. Yeah. <laughs> like so we yeah. have a spot way in the back. That's what I'm just saying, yeah. Somebody's gonna come offer us or, Yeah, they're gonna offer us some money. Listen, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But a lot of people here, uh, and well, I had a buddy that used to do this. A lot of people here leave their campers here all the time. They yeah, basically rent it rentals. like a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. you can tell that because yeah. a lot of people are here in like a Jeep Cherokee or a vehicle that is not near as equipped to pull the camper they got. Mm -hmm. So they leave it here and they just come here on the weekends, almost like a beach house. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we're just here for the weekend. Just come in here with our pop up, kind of spoil the fancy party a little bit. <laughs> And uh, I think we'll people are like, who's moved into the neighborhood? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going to show them how it's done outside. Now, you know, the while all these people are stuck inside the campers watching football and enjoying their spa, we're going to be outside raising <laughs> chain and spa. making rackets and uh, waking <laughs> folks up from their nap. And we're just going to have a good old time. And we're not going to care because we paid the same for this spot as everybody else did. <laughs> And that's just how True we roll. True that. All right. Well, we're going to the beach tomorrow, so we should probably. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go to the beach sleep. tomorrow, get some stuff, and uh, it's time to go night-night. And we'll catch up with you guys on the next video, and we'll be sure to do our campground review time. <laughs> I even brought, like, fire sticks to hold up so you can rate them. I mean, can you hold up at I'm one time? I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just going to just grab a whole I bunch of I think we stuff. should do that. We'll do it digitally. But we'll give oh, it a. Uh, okay. But you <laughs> can do that if you want to. Some twigs. Can you hold? Can you hold? Yeah. Don't worry. Listen, we'll figure this out, everyone. Don't worry. We're going to have this nailed down. We'll get it figured out, though. <laughs> Campground review time coming up soon, though. We'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget Bye. to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, we've got a couple other good camping videos here I think you'll really like to see as well. We'll see you next time. Bye. Go Tigers. <laughs> <laughs>